Yo, what's good YouTube? Today we're gonna look at how to go from this piano sound to this sound. In this Logic Pro tutorial, we're gonna look at how to humanize a MIDI instrument, meaning how to make it sound more realistic, for example, as a piano player would play it. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate the MIDI region and how to change the velocities and so on. After that, I'm gonna show you the different effects and plugins you can use to make it sound better. I'm gonna show you some paid plugins that I personally like and use, and also some free alternative version of Logic Pro. Let's not wait any longer and let's get straight into the tutorial. To start off, we're gonna see how we can improve the MIDI region in itself, and then we're gonna look at the effects we can use. As we can hear by default, there's no variation in velocities, meaning it's always gonna be at the same volume. There are different things you can do here. You can use, for example, the random velocity. I select all my notes. Then I click on Functions, MIDI Transform, and Random Velocity. It's gonna create random velocities between 127, meaning the loudest notes, and 40. This will be the quietest notes. I can change the values if I want to have less gaps between the notes. For example, between 160. Then I can click on Operate Only. And as we can see, we have some random velocities. That's one option, but I'm gonna show you the difference with the harmonize option. I just reset everything. Again, I select all my notes, command A. I click again on function, but this time I choose humanize. Here again, I can have more or less gaps. I'm gonna leave it to 10, and I'm gonna click on operate. As we can see, we have different velocities, but the difference is that if I zoom in, I can see that the notes doesn't start exactly at the same time they are not fully quantized. That's a more realistic approach because if you're a pianist, you're never gonna hit all the notes at the exact same time. You're gonna have some notes a bit before the beat and some notes a bit after the beat. Let's hear it. That's a good starting point, but here I'm gonna go a bit more into depth with the velocities and I'm gonna change and adjust each individual note. Here I need to ask myself what notes are important and what notes can be a bit further back in the mix. For example, this one is a passing note and I'm gonna make it quieter. We can already hear a difference. Let me do it with those notes as well. Maybe I can put this one a bit louder. And the top note a bit louder as well. Here on the second chord, I'm just gonna offset a bit more the notes. That's a bit too much, but you get the idea. You can make it more or less obvious. It's really up to you and what you want to do with your MIDI instruments. I'm gonna repeat those steps until I'm fully satisfied with my MIDI region. Now I have a MIDI region with different velocities, so different volumes and intensity, and I also have slightly different timing, so some notes are a bit before or after the beat. Let's listen to it. That's a promising start and we can now move on to the effects part. I'm gonna show you all the effects that are added and some free alternative for the plugins that are paid options. First of all, I have a chorus effect. Then 
the chorus effect is going to detune your instrument in a way, so maybe you don't want to be too extreme, but it really adds an organic feel because an instrument is never fully in tune. So it makes sense to add a chorus. This is a Waves plugin, but you can use the Logic Pro's chorus effects. With the Chorus Talk plugin, you can do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to show you a free Chorus plugin, which is from Tal. Then I have this effect, Crystallizer, which is not free, and it's a kind of weird delay. If you want to have that effect, maybe you can put a bit more chorus and also add a very short delay. So maybe try this one. Then I have an EQ and this is the one from Logic Pro. I cut the low frequencies and I tame the high frequencies to give a vintage touch. That's a bit too muddy with the lows, so I bring back the EQ. Then I have this plugin, which is not free, it's called Cassette from Waves Factory. Again, it adds a lot of movements to my track. Another very common plugin for beatmakers is RC20. Again, it's not free, it's 50 or 100 dollars. But that's something you can look at if you're interested. Last but not least, I added some reverb. First of all, I have this reverb from Valhalla. And also this one. Lastly, I have a short 8th note delay. For the reverb, you can use the reverb of Logic Pro. It does pretty much the same job. Try the chroma verb, I really like this one. And for the delay, try Echo, for example. That's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really try my best to show you all the tips and tricks I can think of. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I'll see you very soon in a new tutorial. Take care, bye-bye.